Hey guys, and welcome back to another Harvest Moon 64 episode. I'm Linkmaster10, and I am going to, as promised, show you a little bit of the post uh, All Photos Run content. Um, wanted to show my personal progress and then show you kind of some other stuff I've found out recently and what I am actually casually going for. So, uh, as you can see on this first file, I am on Summer of Year 3, so really haven't played too, too much. I think I'm on the 21st of Summer. But the, the main thing I want to discuss is through another YouTube series I was watching, I found that there is a hidden menu, um, at least in the English version, that has the farm completion. Apparently in Japanese cartridge, it's right there available from the beginning, but the only way to access it on the English is with the Game Shark. So, I've put the codes in on my emulator and come down here and hit L. There you go. So it's farm ranking. So this is the overview of the farm. So you can see I'm at 47% and it's got the stats for me and the family. Um, what it doesn't show but is accounted for is animals. Uh, bachelor affection, things like that. But anyway, I'm gonna read the requirements and tell you how crazy this is. So the first one is you have to have all bachelor and bachelorettes at max affection. You have to have your child at max affection on its, on its way. Uh, horse and dog have to be at max, as you can see they are. Uh, have eight barn animals with max affection. I think I have four and two should have max affection. Uh, six chickens. Now the Fun part, ship 99,999 crops, of which I've shipped a little under 2,500. So, uh, yeah, quite a, quite a bit to go. Uh, ship 9,999 eggs, ship 9,999 milk, ship 999 fish, which apparently maybe is a mistranslation. You're just supposed to have to catch that many. So you see on my, on my screen in blue, it says number fish caught 383. Um, but anyway, I'm just reading off of this. Have, um, let's just say right under a million gold. It's like 999, whatever. Um, which will come if you're shipping the eggs and the crops and the milk and stuff. You should reach the money pretty easily. Uh, the other things I have done, that's the um, all power berries, uh, all photos, all recipes, all extensions, and your field completely covered in grass, which is 480 squares. Uh, the other thing is max happiness, which should be, again, if you're not sure, just use the bathroom um, to, to make sure. And then the other thing it says, do not use game shark codes. So other than, of course, using the game shark code to unlock this menu, I don't think you can use any other kind. I, I don't know for sure, we will have to see. But yeah, I think you've looked at this long enough, so let's get into the file. So as you can see, oh hi dog, uh, my child is now at the next stage. Oops. So he's moving around, he's got a cute little mouse outfit. Uh, best way to get his affection up is just to show him your dog. You can also give him gifts at this stage, but uh, really showing your dog is the best way to get his affection up. But talk to him daily. I think at this stage you can just pick him up. You can't actually talk to him any other way. Thanks, Anne. All right, and it's raining today. And if, since it's summer, I still check the weather. I don't have any animals outside, but just to be sure. Hi, guys. There are horse. Oh, there he is. So as far as the dog and horse, just talk and whistle for him. You can brush your horse too. Um, but so I have four of the eight required animals. I'm just gonna do all cows because that's gonna help with the milk shipped. Uh, again, you do not need to feed the smaller ones, but I'm going to I'm feeding the other ones. Seems cruel to make them watch. And like I said, I will eventually get four other cows to help with getting the milk shipped. But honestly, since I have to ship almost 100,000 crops, even if I didn't have eight milk laying cows, I would be okay. One thing I did want to show off that I didn't know in all my years playing this game. So if you have the little bottle thing, 
and you go up to the back of a cow, get free milk. I don't know who thought to try that, but apparently it is a thing you can do, so it's good to uh, try to get some stamina. And if you um, are utilizing the farmland, like the playthrough I watched, which is San, uh, Sam Van Dam, and I'll put his channel name in the description, but especially in his earlier videos, he utilizes pretty much every available space outside to plant crops to hit that goal. And I'm not sure how long it took him. I know he has 50 episodes. Some are, you know, like an hour too long. Some are like seven hours. But that is going to be probably the most efficient way to do it, but it is long days. So when it does rain, it's awesome because of course he gets free watering, but it's just a lot. So I've kind of, I'm doing mine a lot more casually so I have confined mine to the greenhouse. I would not say that this is the most efficient layout, but it works for me and I'm sticking to it. But all these are turnips. And the reason I'm doing turnips, I know they don't sell for much, but they grow the quickest. So it's basically, yeah, I'll have to fill up after this one. Um, it is, Basically just doing whatever's going to get you the most crops the quickest. Um, so just kind of like in the beginning of my playthrough when it was usually just using the money to buy crops. That's all I'm going to be doing. I'm just crop cycling. You can get rid of the grass um, by using your hoe. And that is what he did because he completed all photos for the first part of it. And then just continued from that farm because doing those requirements takes a big chunk out of what you have to do. And obviously it's required for 100%. Through here? Nope. But anyway, so yeah, so I didn't want to dedicate, take care, t uh, excuse me, take off all the grass just to have to replant it. Because if you do get rid of it, of course, it'll lower your percentage. So, I'm doing in here. I think he has eggplants in his greenhouse since they are a re regrowing crop. And then whatever season is, he plants that the fastest growing crop. So let's see, we got, okay, 20 bags, so we got max on that. So typically for the days that I'm playing, I'll go and take care of the animals. And then I go fishing. Uh, I want to always make sure to have 20 seeds. That's the max that you can buy. You want to make sure you're stocked up on, you know, chicken feed and all that stuff. And then the fun of fishing. So as I said, my day goes... My in-game is quicker because I'm doing most of the stuff in the greenhouse, so time's not passing. But you do want to utilize, if you're doing Sam's way, utilize what he does and, you know, use the milk from the cow or use your bathroom to replenish some stamina. This is the joy of fishing. Come on. Oop. The joy of fishing and talking. So as you can see, yeah, it's not li like anything in this game. It's not difficult. It's just a lot of work. Um, I'm not going to most of the festivals. I'll go to the swimming festival. It should be, what, two days? Uh, I think all you win is lumber at this point, but still. I wanted to break up some of the monotony do this. I'll probably go to the um, horse race in fall. I'm going to do the cow festival so another cow can get um, can get gold milk. Oh. Pop up. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. My antivirus software is letting me know that there's a available update. And it has to tell you three times. Really make sure. So anyway, yeah, it's it's gonna be uh, a lot of the. You thought the game was repetitive, but really repetitive. Uh, oh yeah, something I also learned. 
in regards to affection. So I had said uh, that you can use your child with Gots and Doug to kind of spam affection. And that's partially true. The way you can do it is um, it is possible unless you marry their respective daughter. So if you're married to Karen, it won't work with Gots. If you're married to Anne, it won't work with Doug. You can still give them normal gifts and stuff like I did. But I just wanted to clear that up. And apparently, you can use your chicken to boost Ken's affection. Kent, excuse me. I don't know why you would want to befriend Kent. Of course, he also attended my party. But if you did want to, you can use your chicken with him. I'll be honest, I don't know what time it is. Let's see if I catch this next fish. Oh, we're still fine. We're still fine. But you can still give gifts to your wife and stuff. I don't typically bother talking to her. Should work, but... And I'm a bad husband and I missed Anne's birthday. I was thinking it was on the 17th instead of the 14th. So, yeah. So, instead of telling her happy birthday, I uh, spent all the day at the fish pond. Come on, fish. You're never home. Ooh, I gotta get home. Speaking of. Waiting for it to get lighter. Very good. And as always, just to be sure, I get a bath. You can also use the tub, of course, for happiness. Or not the tub, the bathroom. the um your child likes to hide behind your wife and you just cannot get him to come out so just be mindful of that pick him up hi kayla Bitch. hungry which what diaper which do you think honey no. and just like the old days watch tv with my son i guess i knew it would be sunny regardless because of the festival does wish that I would have planted some outside just to have help with your horse for harvesting. Um, so kind of like I did last summer with having the line of crops, I would probably do that again. Hey, talking to you. And you can just have him follow along, uh, alongside of you, or I guess technically behind you, but like I said, I don't really want to take the time to dig all that up. It's a lot of prep. I will buy another cow today. That way, come winter, they should all be given a... Uh... Giving milk, and I can, I'm sure I'll have to buy some, uh... oops. Sorry, didn't mean to, didn't mean that best. do another like update video you know once I'm further along and maybe show the next stage of your your child's growth unfortunately he doesn't get past this this um, phase after this one kind of stinks I mean you can you know have 50 years in the game and he still stays a, uh, a toddler is one of the cool things about a wonderful life get to see your kid grow up Although I don't think I got very far into that game. 
was an okay game. I, I liked some of the differences, but some of it, it was a little too quirky for, for me in some aspects. But I've heard really good things about Animal Parade. I'd like to try that. I've heard Magical Melody is, is good. I tried Innocent Life. Um, played that with my brother. It was actually a lot of fun for us to uh, just try it out. Just because of the intro section. It takes you like 20 minutes to leave the, the house where your grandpa lives or whatever he is to your creator. I've also played um, Rune Factory. I think the first one. And again, I, I think had I given it more time, I would have enjoyed it. But the little preview I got, I was kind of like, yeah, okay. What else have I played? Oh, I've played Lighthouse of uh, Light of Hope or Lighthouse of Hope. Uh, I would say the newer one, but I think that's Pioneers of Olive Town. But that's okay. Again, it, it's kind of some of the stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, that's good, different, and other things. It's just meh. But that's part of why I always go back to this one. Love Back to Nature. Save the Homeland was another one that I was pleasantly surprised with. A lot of nostalgia playing that with my brother and sister. And again, I mean, it was a good game anyway, but I think we got more enjoyment out of just like each other's commentary and interaction with the different characters. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I played the, uh, the Game Boy Color one. I think the third one? That was a fun one. You know, I'm not normally one for glitches, but I, when I found out that there was a like pretty much an infinite money glitch that you could duplicate uh, duplicate the items and sell them, I had no problem doing that. You got the miracle gloves in that one. That was awesome. If you played as the uh, as the boy, you could just ship stuff directly from your hand. You didn't have to put it in your inventory and take it to a shipping bin or anything. That was awesome. I wish they'd bring that back, if they haven't already. But you've already heard me talk about a basket and back to nature so many times, and this is the case where it'd be so nice just to dump it in the basket. It holds 30 items. And that way you just, you don't have to go in your pause menu. Oh, that would be wonderful. But alas. So I will only show the second day, I won't go through a third day recording. But you know, it really does move pretty quickly. I think it helps that the, the veggies, not sure what word I was creating there, the vegetables are on different cycles, so it's not all of them ready at one time. Because obviously since time's not passing, I would be able to do it all, but you know, it does, as I said, break it up some. Watching Sam's playthrough and his how quick he is in his pause menu is just amazing. I try to be quick, but I also get very mindful of my controller clicking. Okay, so I'm trying to think is this swim festival tomorrow? If it's tomorrow, I might just showcase that. I don't know, I wasn't planning on making this a full-length episode, just to kind of showcase this, uh... The latest in the farm, and then my completion attempts, but... I think it is the 23rd. I used all my knowledge up in my last playthrough. Almost done with this. Gosh, <laughs> almost not done with this. I wish you could get another shipping bin. I'll just shove it right in that corner. I don't care if I'm losing out on some crops. It would be wonderful. Just have it there. So I will be doing this super casually, really just at my leisure. Um, I'll probably for sure show in winter because I want to show getting the prizes from the um, the flower points or whatever. 
but I'm also leaning towards doing a count to nine. All power berries. I think I might have mentioned that before. Honestly, even in this recording, I don't. Even though this is mindless tasks, it still drains you. But if I didn't mention it before, yes, I'm looking forward to maybe putting some time in that unofficially since I'm playing on emulator. And if I have mentioned it before, then, well, now you know. Act surprised. Woohoo! I might get a day where. Actually, I think that was yesterday where I didn't have to do any watering. I mean, I didn't have to do any harvesting. Okay, this will uh, cramp your hand after a bit. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, maybe I will get another cow. I'll buy some more seeds, of course, even though I can't... Well, I can't get them tomorrow, so I'll just stock up today. ready for watering. Okay. Go, go, go! That's so where it would be really nice to have that next level of uh, watering can. Take me up to 79 and uh, stop there. Okay. So, obviously, I'm not talking to viewers live, but I'm curious if anyone has played the Pioneers of Olive Town or uh, Poot, as uh, it seems to be called, which I agree with the, uh, the consensus. Like, why would you make a game with that being the, uh, the initials? Anyway, I'm just curious if it's, uh, I don't know if it's been officially released yet, but I know some people were playing, like, the Japanese version or something, but just wondering if it's any good. Some of the stuff looks good, like, the graphics look a little better, but I've heard the frame rate is pretty terrible. And I guess there's, like, a photography thing that you can do, and you can take pictures of, I guess, anything, which is very <laughs> scary. Allow that. Okay, I need, so I need 11 more of those. Let's go get a cow and some turnip seeds and some fish. Is it even open? No. Oh, it is. It opens at 8. And I guess I could. I have a cow be pregnant, but that's gonna take forever. I mean, they still give milk, I think it's just small milk, but I want a cow. And I tried to buy more than one cow and he was not having it. All right, let's go ahead and get him taken care of. Careful, right? And this house is going to be Greta! Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Dad. Right. I said I'd get 11 turnips. Lily is in love with me again now that I'm having to buy so many seeds. No. I see. Yeah, you'll see, you'll see me now. Okay. 
and because I don't know math. Okay. To the pond. No, look, let's change it up. Let's go to the beach. Hopefully we won't see a scene. We're not seeing a scene. Hey, crab. Yeah, see how much better the beach is? Look at all this fish. Well, I for one, I'm so happy I decided to come here. I wish there was other stuff you could catch here besides the power bearing fish. And I think it, isn't it back to nature that you can get like a bottle of perfume or something like that? Or maybe like a recipe? There we go. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Or I fished out the only two fish in the uh, ocean. Apparently I did. Not mad about them being large. fish. You know, even though I spent a lot of fishing, especially the, oops, later part of winter and spring to pass time and just kind of get some money for whatever, um, I was very impressed by the number of fish I had caught. I guess when you compare it to how much time I've spent fishing and not caught anything or missed a fish, probably not as high as it should be, but... But I wonder what Greg will say on this next evaluation. So I, I'm assuming this is probably going to take me more than three years to uh, get it all. Alright, you know what? We'll go and... It's still early. I'm going to go and get some fodder. Even though I had 999 before I put the cows inside. Have an earlier day. I'll tell you what, since it's already uh, 28 minutes, enjoy. Uh, I probably won't do the swim race on camera. I mean, you've seen two years of it, you know what it is. Threw it at the house thinking that was a shipping bin. Everything's fine, honey. Stay asleep. Cool. Alright, get our last bath. And yeah, um... I will put Sam's um, channel name in the description, and I will also give a breakdown of the completion requirements. And with that, guys, I will say thank you so much for watching. Um, I, as always, with any of the videos I've posted, I appreciate the support and the interest. Leave questions. Um, I'm definitely not the best resource for this 100% completion since I just kind of learned about it but i'll be happy to answer anything i can so as always thank you and until next time